hey what's up you guys it's your girl Arabella back again with another video uh this isn't the video that i wanted to put out back from my break i intentionally took a break guys i didn't just drop it on my field i intentionally took a break i did not i intentionally took a break but i did not plan when i was coming back and i didn't plan the videos in which i was coming back and i didn't want to edit too i have videos recorded not edited though that in which i want to post on here um i know this is like a different feel for you guys like the way i'm talking or whatever because but this is like a different video that i really haven't put out on this um on my channel in a minute like since i first started and i'm glad that i'm doing this again because this is honestly why i started my youtube channel um besides my hair but this is really the reason why i started it and um I'm gonna get into it, but I'm gonna get into it. Actually, no buzz. I'm gonna get into it right now. So basically, um, I got a poem to share with you guys and a little word to it too. Um, I I want to say I stopped sharing my poems for multiple reasons. I actually kind of stopped writing. Um, I stopped writing because I found myself writing very dark things a lot of the times, and I was tired of being dark, and I felt. And now that I'm older, I realize, like, I was writing dark because I was dark. And me not writing wasn't helping the darkness. You know what I'm saying? It was just, it was an outlet to let go of the darkness. But at the time, I didn't see that. So I'm back writing again. Is it as dark? Maybe. <laughs> because some days, your girl is in her feels. And some days... I love the world. It, it's just a life, you know, and I'm learning to love life and learning it is a life. Um, so this video is about perfection and my revelation about perfection um, came when I wanted to, I started going back to the gym, like I'm starting back my gym journey, like as a teenager, adolescent, I loved working out. I loved the gym, even though like, I hated the pain. Like, y'all know if y'all don't work out in a long time, y'all, y your body is going to hurt you the day after. But, like, I, I liked working out. I liked the feeling that I got after, you know, mo like most people do, honestly. I don't know. Um, But I started back, you know, the reason I stopped was because of college or whatever. And when I started back, my plan was to wake up 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Especially because, like, when you wake up early in the morning, you get more things done. So, I'm like, if the gym is the first thing that I do in the morning, and if I wake up early in the morning, I will get a lot of things done. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things will be done. The day will be much smoother. So, I said, I'm going to wake up 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the gym, and I'll come back. And at this time, I was... It was like a transition. I was like doing my last class, before, um, my last undergraduate class before I graduate and going into my graduate class that is completely online. So, um, so like I was, you know, was like, I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna go to the gym, come back, take a shower, I'm gonna go to Starbucks or like a, uh, a cafe do my homework do my work or whatever and that ain't happen I, I forgot what happened like I had set my alarm and I think I either like turned it off and went back right to sleep because I don't press snooze I turn my alarm off completely because I hate snooze like for real for me snooze don't make no sense it don't help but um so I turned my alarm off, I probably went back to sleep or I probably didn't hear it. And I woke up and I was tight. It was like probably nine o'clock, nine, eight o'clock. And I'm like, dang, I didn't wake up five, six o'clock. I can't go to the gym again. And I'm, and then something was like, why can't you go to the gym? Cause I like, I missed the time slides. Like I said, my day is ruined. And something was like, what do you mean? I was like, I can't go to the gym. And I'm going back and forth with this thing in my head. I don't know what that thing is. And then something was like, you're trying to be perfect in something you just started. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and I got kind of right there because I was like, 
I just started my gym journey and I'm trying to be the best go be like first one at the gym type energy and five o'clock in the morning time. like I've never done that before so I can't just jump in and do it perfectly and then on top of that there is no such thing as perfectly and you know that this is where this home comes from because it's like a lot of time and I and I want to like go into like something else like a lot of times when we do things in life like for example you want to start a YouTube channel you want to start a business line you want to start something new you just want to jump in and do it but you're like oh to start that youtube channel i need the ring light i need the camera i need the editing program i need the this i need the that i don't know what it is the green screen or whatever it is girl let me tell you you don't need all that i'm recording on my my iphone well i, I think i started with the iphone 7 i think i started recording on iphone 7 guys I, I really think I started recording on the iPhone 7. I'm not gonna lie. I, you know why I think this? Because I remember there was a time I had two phones recording. And, like, my iPhone 7 had, like, broke. This is, this is like, a little story time for y'all. I, I, I want to bring story time on this channel more. Also, the lighting is kind of dull. I don't know why. But it is what it is. Maybe it's, like, the, the blue. But, like my iphone 7 was like broken like shattered it wasn't working it wasn't doing what it needed to do so i would i had borrowed my friend's phone because she had two phones at the time so she let me borrow her phone to like text and communicate with people like while i was at home or even like set my alarms or whatever and um what happened oh and i at that time i was recording with two phones i think i would use her phone to record because it was a newer phone and the camera quality was way better than mine and I would like use my phone to like ask questions or whatever whatever but I'm back to one phone now I got the iPhone 12 what which one day up to I don't even know what what phone this is I just it's a phone and you know recording on your phone is fine guys literally the what and especially watching tiktok i don't know if y'all watch tiktok like i watch tiktok but there's this creator called keith lee and my son is recording on his iphone sitting in his um daughter's chair like you don't need all of that equipment you don't need all of that fancy smenchy stuff to start like just start jump in and the fact is why do you need it if you just started you know what i'm saying like why would you need it if you just started it don't make sense you can't be that gym goer that wakes up five six o'clock in the morning hitting those weights running a mile if you never trained your body or built your body up to do that it's just impossible on top of that there's no perfect human being on this earth besides the one that walked on this earth jesus christ you feel me so why we trying to be perfect ain't no perfect we work our way up we gotta wake our way up so anyways because of that i came with this poem um and um i'm gonna read it to y'all and this is also another thing i really i rarely write poems down in my i rarely write poems down at all i use my phone um because most times like when a poem comes to me or like even when inspiration comes to me, I'm on the street or I'm, I won't say I'm driving, but like sometimes I'm driving, I'm like, okay, when I park my car, I'm gonna write this down real quick because that was fire. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, I, I get inspiration on the road. So I don't really always have pen and paper to write down. So I kind of stopped writing my poems, but because I stopped writing my poems as well is another reason why I wasn't right recording my poetry here. And, um, Again, I got convicted, and I'm now sharing my poems on the internet by writing it down. This is the first poem I've written in this book, and I'm going to read this to y'all. Okay, and also, let me put some Bible in this, because I also said I was going to add some Bible, and it goes like this. The topic is perfection, and then there's Second Samuel 22 verse 30 says god is my strong fortress and he makes my way perfect he makes my way perfect god is my strong fortress that means 
I don't know what you what y'all call a strong fortress, but when I think of strong fortress, I'm thinking something that I can lean on, something that's sturdy. You know, I can stand on it. I can rest on it. I don't it doesn't fail me. Like it, it's something like for example, for the 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 pyramids, those have been here for years and they're still standing strong. That's a strong tower. You know what I'm saying? The leaning tower of Pisa, even though it's leaning, it's been leaning for years, but it and and people standing next to it and whatever. It's still leaning. It's strong, in my opinion. Maybe it's not. I don't know that much about the leaning tower pizza, but you know, makes sense in my head when I when I thought about it. I don't know. I'm not editing this out. Also, I'm not editing these video this video. Um, I'm just gonna post it. Um, I feel like that's real and that's also a part of perfection. But yeah, like a strong tower, like any building right now that's built, I believe that if I lean on that building. It's going to hold me. It's going to hold me up. And that's what that scripture is saying. That my God is a strong fortress. He's a strong fortress. You know what I'm saying? It didn't say strong tower. I added the tower part. But yeah. strong fortress, strong tower. You know the other scripture that said tower. You know? Um, and he makes my way perfect. Now because I lean on him. And because I trust in him. He makes it perfect. So therefore... We are imperfect, but because of him, we're made perfect. That's the word. I don't need nothing else, but that's the word. The word speaks for itself, guys. So let me get into this, into this poem. I'm sorry. The word speaks for itself. So, um, oh, this is, the ring light is making me, it's making it hard for me to read, guys. Um, trying to, trying to see where I could put this so I could read. So y'all can see my face or like, like this, this right here, this right here is perfect. This right here is perfect. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause it's kind of hard with the, the light. I don't want y'all to see my face while I'm reading. So kind of, you know, anyways, I'm, I'm scared guys. Y'all is about to hear me do poetry for the first time in a long time. Oh my gosh. No, y'all. This is crazy. Anyways, perfection. The idea of perfection is a scam. The only one that ever did it was the lion and the lamb. No matter how we try to plan things with our own hands, we need the great I am because he knows the plan. For his plan. For this is his plan, for this is his land. Never forget he is the great I am. To keep your mind on him and his perfectness will be revealed. The only thing that is perfect is him. Through him we find perfection because of the resurrection. Because of the resurrection, we have succession. Titles that require perfection given to those with imperfections. As he creates perfection within because we rely on him. The one whose plan is. The one whose plan it is. His plan now becomes theirs. To follow the lion and the lamb. For the wonders of his land. His plan now becomes their plan. So he reveals his gift. And let those he reveals his gifts and let those understand perfection is a scam. Okay, that was good. That was that was a little good. I kind of messed up there. Like I said, I'll really read. I haven't read a poem in a minute. I hope y'all liked it. Um, this has been a little cute video from your girl, Arabella. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would like to hear y'all feedback. Did y'all like my poem? Was it cute? What y'all think about perfection? And, you know, how is it biblical and in the scripture and all of that jazz? Love y'all. Peace.